Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Aldershot Raceway on this Sunday the 14th of May for round 6 of the uh, Classic Hot Rod Series, the English Series for 2017. Here in the pits at uh, Aldershot Raceway and the first man we will see this afternoon emblazoned in his BTA motorhome service top and it's uh, Mr Dave Murphy. Good afternoon to you Dave. How are you all? Nice very well you. thank you, very well indeed. What uh, steps have you had to do to the car to get ready for today? Uh, just, just the usual Rob. Um, just have engine problems still really, we just we still keep suffering with little engine gremlins and carbs. Uh, so Mark, Mark's been working on it more than I have. Um, I haven't got a lot of time this year as you know from, from uh, you know, stuff I've got going on at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Mark's doing all the work and he's been flat out trying to sort out problems that we've that we found this week. So. It's been some time since you've raced that old shop. This is actually the first time you've raced here. Yeah, I've never raced here before, no. I uh, came here just practicing years ago right. uh, in an old stock rod, um, but never actually raced here. So. Think it'll be a challenge? It's, it's quite a tight little track, so yeah, probably be a challenge, but looking forward to it. Alright, alright. Well, good luck for you today. Thank you very Thanks much. Again, Rob. All right, cheers. Right, so we'll move on down pit lane. It's a very well organised pit, as you can see. Nice, uh, solid surface, concrete top, easier for the drivers to work on. We've got uh, Tick Stewart's beautiful looking car, the uh, Anglia. Of course, one of the fancied men racing here at Aldershot today. We racing from Red Top, of course. And Tech has got the car splendidly set up and ready to go once again. Connected on Facebook, Paul Walton. Good afternoon, good to see you. Good to see you. Very well, thanks. Well, pretty good. We're just going to do our pit lane at the moment, so we'll be with you in just a bit. Uh, practice then, Karen. Yeah. Oh, doesn't she look so professional? In the hand and everything, yeah. Yeah, it's a small track, so. I think we'll be like it, but yeah. I've had the gear sitting really. with <laughs> so I can get a gear Yeah, so you can reach now. Um, yeah, I haven't been here for ages since Junior Rock. Since so. Junior Rock. Do you, like but you seven. think it's the sort of track that will suit you? Okay, so you're going to go. Out. Well, go out and practice and see. So, you can see the car getting ready, getting in the car. She's getting ready for practice just now with a Wolvesley 1500, powered by a 2 litre Ford engine, the Pinto, of course. Now, over here, driving the Hulk today, we've got uh, 236 Ryan Polly. Ryan is uh, racing the Austin A40, that's normally the, the ride for, of course, Graham Boy, Cara's father. And uh, Ryan, here he is, just coming out now. Very quickly, we'll have a quick word with you as we uh, get ready for practice. Um, last time out was back at Black Alley. Yes, you, um, back in April. You did very well. Very pleased with how you went on, didn't you? Yeah, Black Alley was good. Really getting into um, the difference between the disciplines of the big tracks and the small. Yes, yeah, it takes a little while, but we'll be alright. You'll be alright. I'll, I'll be all right. let you get in and get ready for practice. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. Moving on down, and uh, of course the all bright machine, the little Austin A30 of uh, Andrew Willis. Good afternoon to you, Andrew. Great to see you again. Of course, always with the overalls to match the bright uh, pocket rockets. You know, you've been doing a lot of good for this car. We've been in this for a few days, haven't you? Yeah, it's had a new exhaust system, uh, remounted the axle. It absolutely looks tremendous, doesn't it, as usual? On uh, the Monday after Northampton. We were put in a garage, took the back axle out, checked the back axle, because it wasn't going as well as what it should. And I just wanted to check things out, so I spent the whole Monday 
just going through the car to sort the car out. Yeah. So yeah, I had a lot of work to do, and as you can see, it's all painted up now. Yeah, of course. Be beautiful paintwork on there, and of course, your base blocks from Brantwood. Road, nice and bold on the bottom. So, obviously, very pleased to support and getting One thing I've got to show you. All oh, right. That I had. Uh, well, what's this? <laughs> Also, oh, thank you very much indeed. The back of, of your car. Ah, oh, superb. Great work from Charlie. Great exponent and publicist for the sport. And all the best to, to yourself today. Well thank done. Thank you, mate. Well done. We'll try anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Right. So, move on from uh, Charlie's Mark 1 over to Dave Sunbeam. Dave getting ready, of course, to uh, go out and practice as well. Ready for old shop then? Sorry. Have you had much to do on the car? Um, not too much. Changing there. Um, that's about it, really. Yeah, sort of yeah. Not a couple of days. Well, you now. did it. Yeah, wonderful day. Far better than you expected at Northampton a fortnight ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That takes you back up to Red Roofer today, then. Big challenge. I'd rather start at the back. Yeah, I really know you do. <laughs> All right, well, good luck for today. You're not in anyone's way, are you? Absolutely. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Good luck. Yeah. All right. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Huey, the London champion and the East Anglian champion, just getting ready. You were nice and early here again this morning, Kim. Well, it's the first time ever I've been early. How early is this? As early as this. Of course, it's a big family effort today. Everybody racing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Do you like this track or not? No. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's not my favourite track. But then again, all tracks are different. We're having going any of Of course, of course. Well, you know, you're one of our most senior racers, but always one of the most... Uh, Demanding and challenging ones, you're always there in a shout. So we're only, we're only here about the damage, aren't we? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You could be in for a good shout for today. We're starting from blue grade. Yeah, which is handy. I think it's a good system we got there. Well, it's, it's flexible. Every, gives everybody a chance. Eh? Yeah, it goes, you go up and down depending on what you did last time out. So. Good, good. So it's bigger than I need to start right near the front. Really. <laughs> well, good luck today, Hugh. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rob. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure, and then you've got that over that way round. Okay. Right, so we'll carry on. So as the uh, drivers get ready, in practice, and uh, one who's getting ready to put his helmet on very quickly, Trevor Harris. Don't look at this, my wife will give me a row, it's not me. <laughs> You always wear that at the weekends as well. Yes. <laughs> right, well, um, again, absolutely delighted that you've made such a long journey down to support the formula this weekend, Trevor. Nah, uh, listen, what can I say? Big welcome everywhere I go. That's listen. it, yeah, absolutely. The and travelling uh, man, you know. And this I had my caravan, I wouldn't be so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this track could shoot, suit you, nice little track. As long as it's slow. <laughs> slow and slow and ten laps. Yes. Ah, good. Okay. We'll see how we get on. Okay. okay. It's nice. It's just another one off the bucket list, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's all in the bucket list. Try your best for everybody. Good luck. But listen, thanks again for all the efforts you've put in. That's without you, we're nothing. Oh well, it's a two-way thing, and I think the fans support all the effort as well. So lovely. Good Thank stuff. You. Good luck. Good on you. Thank, Thank you. you. So, across pit lane we go, and uh, as you can see, 72 Gary Goodswin, he's already in the car, revving the engine, he's getting ready to go out. Almost unrecognisable when he gets his battle bow and clarver on, but uh, Huey, I should say, uh, Gary already, already set to go, so we'll wish him the best of luck there. Likewise, the kitchen, there he is. Beautiful looking Anglia that the uh, new driver that we have is Dean. Went out first time at Northampton. I think he's going to settle into the formula just fine. 
You raced the whole shot quite regularly before, but this is your local track, isn't it? <laughs> I've raced here once in a stock run, and uh, we had an issue and we broke the car off. Oh, that's an issue. <laughs> that's a slight understatement, an issue. But this is your local track, isn't it, now? But, yeah, well, at least for these. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not a nice track, though. We came here yesterday and uh, we had some issues again. We ran over last night and uh, we'll find out if it's worked or not. Okay, well, good luck. Thanks for turning up today. Well, good luck to you. Good to see you, sir. All right. Yeah, not bad. Now, uh, how far away is this track from where you live? Uh, about 20 miles. Not bad at all. No. no. You, you've raced here yourself before, then? No. Never. Never. Well, I'll be. So, if you, you, this will be your first time round this small track, then, now? Absolutely. Oh well. Well, hopefully you've got it all set up right, Dip, and etc. Yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah. I think we're, we're pretty much there. Good. All right. Well, good luck to you as you go out in practice just now. All Cheers, right. Mate, well done. Okay. Uh, oh, bro. Oh, you yes. Know what frequency we're on? Still at 560. 560. Yes. <laughs> and uh, finally, for those who are amongst us just now, Graham Fulker. It is fantastic looking at Fulker Motors Anglia. He can't talk right now, he's got an adult ticket in his mouth. What's work for the car this week then, Graham? Another new engine, mate. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a slight understatement then. Well, it was, it was a head gasket issue with the other one. See that, see that Mr. One's done the big once over around everybody? Yeah. So, yeah, I've hopefully. I've got to change my bonnet. I'm not allowed to run that lovely bonnet. Oh, what a thing. Okay, okay. Well, good luck in practice anyway. All right. So, we might as well have a look at them all get ready to come out now. from a, a walk down pit lane now just to get these cars in the lovely sunshine here on Classic Hot Rod TV. Love the sound of these engines, these Pintos and Crosslows that we have at present. Don't forget, of course, that uh, the ZTEC engine, having been authorised for 2017, will be due to make its appearance with some new cars later this year, and it will be interesting to see how they compare to the existing machinery. There we are, the lineup that we have here. Glorious sunshine at Aldershot Stadium this afternoon. Lovely spring sunshine. A great today's racing, I'm sure, is in prospect. And let's enjoy round six of the English series. <laughs> 